another Craft and Fashion video, and today I am going to be showing you this cool fountain here, and I am going to be showing you how to build it. Now, right now it's off, and if you click the switch, you can turn it on. So you can turn on and off the fountain, and it looks good both on and off. So it is a pretty simple design. We can turn it off here real quick, and we can go down underneath and see how it's just some redstone with some observers. So let's get building this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is three block straight, three blocks diagonal, three blocks straight, three blocks diagonal, and then just keep doing this the whole way around, just three blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then you should end up with a shape that looks a bit like this. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is break out the blocks underneath and fill in the whole thing, which by the way, I am using smooth quartz for this whole thing. You can use any block you want. You could use concrete, you can use regular quartz, anything like that. But I think that smooth quartz looks good for, looks probably the best for this fountain. So we just fill in the entire thing like that. So that way it looks like that. And then at each of the three little areas, you're going to place one block away from the side. And then you want to build that up another block. And then right behind that, you want to place one, two, three, four blocks high. So that way it's two blocks higher than the one you placed before. And then we do that behind all of them, two blocks higher than before. And then you should get something that looks a bit like this. Now the next thing you want to do is place up those four blocks and then another two blocks. So we're going to keep making it higher the whole way around. So place it up one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And then it should look a lot like this with one little opening through the center. Now, time to bring some function into it. So we're gonna grab some, a dropper and some observers. So we're actually gonna fly down the center, fly down to the center where this hole is here, break the bottom block of quartz, and then place through the thing with observers place it one higher than the rest, one block higher sticking out, and then we're gonna place a dropper on top of that observer. Now, on now if you see right here, sort of where these are, if you go on a diagonal from the center of your diagonal block, from the three blocks that we did earlier, so that would be right here, touching this side, not this side, break two blocks down, and do that the whole way around, just like that. And then place observer, dropper in each one. Make sure the observer is facing down for all of this because we're going to put the redstone underneath like we did for that one over there. So once you've done that the whole way around, next thing we are going to do is put the end rods on it, so we can just put the end rods on the top of each one of these little spots right here, the whole way along, on these parts that we built up, and then the top one, we can just put it on like that. Now these bottom ones down here, we're going to do something a little bit different in just a second. Now we're going to need five water buckets to fill up all of the drop dispensers. And we're just gonna put one water bucket in each one, just like this. And you just fill up the whole thing, all of these with just one bucket. 
just like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is cover up these four dispensers up here on the top. Cover them up with whatever your block you are using, the slab version of it. And then you should get something that looks like this, which is what the fountain looks like when it is off. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually find a side in within the three blocks and then break down two blocks. And then, you know, just sort of make a bit of a space underneath here. Ooh. And try not to break out the observers. Watch out for them. They are going to be sticking down one block into the ground. So don't break them like I just did. Now, you sort of just want to dig around a little bit till you find the five observers. Now you can see there's one here, one here. So we should be looking for one just over here. There's that one. And there should be one more right over here. Put a little bit of light in here. Use some of those end rods. Now, the next thing we're going to need is just a little bit of redstone. And then we're just going to place it underneath all of these dispensers, just like this. And then actually, we're going to need another observer right in the center so just sort of break this top block up here so, and then place another block down here so you can get one in there make sure it is facing down and then sort of make sort of like an H shape you see what I have here and then run the redstone right back up to wherever your hole was and make it go up one block right right where the edge of your hole is now you can fill that up, get a lever, and you should be able to turn it on or off, and <laughs> mine's a little messed up because I triggered some of the observers. Let me fix that quickly. Okay, that was a pretty simple fix. Now it should all be working, and there we go. So what I did was I just broke the slabs and pulled the water bucket out and then flick the lever for the ones that that were firing when they weren't supposed to be. And that sort of fixed it up. And once you do that once, it shouldn't it you shouldn't have to do it again. And there you go. Now you have a fountain. This is another craft sauce video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe too while you're at it.